Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this very natural everyday back to school kind of makeup look. If you're not in school anymore, use this for every day. It is perfect for that. It is simple, easy. It's not too much. It's just it's just natural. <laughs> I'm also using products that I really recommend for people with cool tone skin or if you have like a cool tone preference, if you like those tones, especially like baby pinks and stuff, I have some good products for you. And if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep watching. Since today's look is going to be a back to school makeup look and you probably don't want to cake on the makeup like for a night out, I would definitely recommend you use a BB cream, a tinted moisturizer, something a little bit more lightweight. And you can obviously always cover a bit more with concealer, which I would recommend anyways. Um, you know, use foundation or BB cream, whatever, to kind of even out your skin tone and then you can spot conceal, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using a liquid concealer for underneath of my eye because I just feel like my skin under my eye works better with a liquid concealer and I'm going to spot conceal with a pot concealer. Where you apply your concealer is so personal. Like the big triangle that used to be popular or applying it in the inner corner and only on the outside, it really comes down to your personal eye shape and where you have darkness. I would really recommend you not to follow those trends, but to really focus in on your skin, on your imperfections, see where you have the most darkness and then conceal that way. Now taking a small detail brush like this and a pot concealer, this one is from Catrice, so it's very inexpensive. I'm going to add coverage to the little spots that I have right now. And I'm going in like this. I don't even know how well the camera is picking up my skin texture and skin issues, but um, my skin is definitely not perfect. I've noticed that from editing my videos, my skin looks way better on camera, which makes sense because of the lighting and the camera will never pick up your skin how it's actually in real life. So don't compare yourself to people on camera because I have thought myself like, oh, my skin looks so nice on camera. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, so don't let it deceive you. One of the reasons I say try to even out your skin tone first with foundation or whatever you like to use in a thin layer and then go in and spot conceal is because especially if you have acne, if you have pimples, it is just the best thing you can do to go in with a light layer of base makeup first because the more you apply to those areas, the cakier they will look, especially if you have a raised pimple. It's actually a very good idea to kind of try to go even around the pimple and then take a high high coverage concealer and really really spot conceal especially because these concealers tend to be more matte they won't break apart as easily as let's say a liquid one would so that is my suggestion if you find that your makeup looks cakey but you want to cover your imperfections i would definitely recommend you go in with light layers and then go in specific areas where you really need it with full coverage i'm taking a small brush like this instead of like let's say a foundation brush goes hand in hand with the entire trying to really just focus it where you need it. If you take this, you're probably going to be putting concealer on areas that really don't need it and you'll have more product on top of each other and it's just going to make your skin look a lot heavier. Powder is totally optional here. It comes down to your skin type. So I'm just lightly going over my eyelids and my brows and underneath my eye, but super lightly and just the tiniest little bit on my chin and stepping away. If I can recommend you a bronzer that is so easy to use, it'll take no time to apply so it's perfect for in the morning when you have to get ready quickly. This bronzer from e.l.f., the Putty Bronzer, is so good. It's very creamy, very blendable. It has a soft kind of powder finish, so you don't have to worry about this looking super glowy. And it's just the most blendable formula. It's not too pigmented, it's just 
perfect so especially if you are a beginner or if you just don't have the time to make mistakes this is the product to use and if i can recommend you a brush alongside with this it's the bh Cosmetics studio pro number no. three brush it's the perfect size to fit in and it just blends out the product very very quickly and easily and i feel like it's also the perfect size it's like it's not too small it's just the perfect size when you want to bronze up without it going like everywhere it's so good so i really recommend this duo For blush I'm going to be using a pretty cool toned and very lively shade. This is going to really brighten up your face. This is the Peri Para Pure Blush Sunshine Cheek in the shade number 13, Nice Pink. It's a pretty light, very cool toned pink and applying it quite generously because this is not the most intense one. Um, and if you like a glow you can then top it off with highlighter because this is a matte blush. But I actually like that it is matte. It gives like that very soft airbrushed look. So I really enjoy that about it. I'm going to add just a little bit of highlighter. This one is the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in 020. It's a beautiful cool tone pink. Since my look today is kind of pinkish, I also want the highlighter to have a little bit of a pink hue to it. So this one is perfect. For my eyes, I'm going to be using a palette. This one is from Twinkle Pop. It is the Pearl Gradation All Over Palette, and this one is in the shade number two for Pink Season. This is a really nice, very cool toned pink kind of palette. What I love the most about it are definitely the glitters in here. They are so, so good. These two shades and this shade are not very pigmented. So everything except for these is outstandingly good. If you're looking for good glitters, this is the palette to go for. I'm first going to be applying this light pink shade all over my lid. It's just going to really, really lightly set. And then I think I'm going to be going in with the brown in my crease. Something just very easy, nothing over the top. I don't know if the camera is even picking that up. It's just a very soft matte finish and my eyelids look a little bit more pink, but not too much. Now I'm going to be taking this brown shade and lightly put that in my crease. I feel like neutrals and cool tones tend to look more natural. Obviously it really depends on your skin tone. So if you are very warm toned, I think these cool tones may not suit you. But for me, I know that using these more ashy shades, these very clear light pink shades, just overall make the look way more natural. I'm going to be doing my eyeliner very naturally, nothing crazy. I made the tiniest little wing because I feel like it really lifts my eye, makes me look more awake, so it's completely optional if you want to do this or not. I am going to set that with the darkest shade. I also find that this soft smokiness to it makes it look a bit more natural in a way. So I always try to make my eyeliner not too thick so I can smoke it out with the shadow a bit further. I just really love how it looks. I know that this is a natural makeup look, but I just need a little bit of glitter. I just need a little bit of glitter, so I'm going to be using this first one because it's the most natural, because the glitter isn't too big. So I'm going to be taking that and applying a tiny bit right over my lash line because that is where I feel like the placement looks the best on my eye. So definitely experiment to see where you think looks the best. I just feel like right above the liner and the lash, I think it looks the best. Apply your favorite mascara. Okay, I don't know why my lashes are looking so long today. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the shadow on them. Do your brows however you like them. I like mine very naturally filled in, so I only fill in 
sparse areas. To make this last the entire day and have my hairs in the position I want, I'm going to use a brow gel. Now lastly, for the lips, I want something obviously not over the top because this entire look is pretty natural. So I'm first going to do a soft light face with a nude lipstick. This one is from L'Oreal, it's called MLBB. And to give us some gloss and color, I'm going to be using a lip tint. This one is from Peripera. It is the Ink Mood Glowy Lip Tint. And this one is in the shade 07. I'm pinkest. So, so pretty. It's a true light, light, bubble gummy, milky kind of pink shade. So it's perfect if you have like very cool tone skin, you like very soft pinks. This is so pretty. Other than the color, I absolutely love this formula. It kind of feels like a liquid balm and it's very like thick, like a serum. It's just super comfortable and it smells very good. It smells like caramel, very sweet. So it's such a good lip tint. I really recommend it. And this, my beautiful friends, completes today's makeup look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up because it really means so much to me and helps my channel out a lot like you may not think but it helps my channel out a lot and i really hope to see you in the next video until then take care bye bye